Hi family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl here, Okwengile Wakwa Nakani, who is now currently known as Uzusake Wakwa Kokela. If you are new to this channel, please click that subscribe button, that red button, and, and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that every time I post, you are notified and to the returning subscribers thank you so much my darling for coming back i really 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 appreciate you so guys in today's video i decided to speak about the five misconceptions that people have about accountants in general so i thought you know what let me have a fun video where i'm like now nah, this may be a misconception this may be half misconception or anything so i hope that this video will yeah will make you understand um uh, more about the accounting field if if you probably want to join the accounting field so um let me begin oh guys thank you so much guys for your support i really really appreciate it guys comment down comment down below if you have any videos that you'd want me to speak about anything finance related um lifestyle and and careers i will try my best to do that video um be, please comment down below thank you so much guys so guys myth number one is that we're good with maths <laughs> you know this whenever i tell people that oh i did accounting or i'm an auditor or whatever they're like oh you must be good in maths i'm like sin cause ten I don't know those stuff. I, I don't know those stuff. I don't. like, And I believe that, yes, when you go to varsity to write the requirements, it's for you to have a high math, um, a mark. I don't know why. I don't know, you know. Um, yes, the simultaneous equations there, that uh, 5 pl plus x equals to 3, those type of of equations yes we were required to know that but honestly when you're in the field you have a calculator where is it should be somewhere here you this is your friend like a calculator is your friend you use it more often if you, like for example you're you're calculating npv you use the other one um the financial account the financial calculator yes you need to know what to input there obviously but you just need a calculator sometimes you don't even need a calculator because you have an excel document that will add formulas for you oh my gosh excel is the best like excel is the best so guys it is not true that we're good in maths i'm not saying that we're bad i'm not saying that we're bad because obviously um accounting is all about numbers and also guys besides the calculator and the excel document nowadays the softwares that compile balance sheets that compile income statements that compile a lot of things like majority of the time the accountant just inputs the in the the raw data which is the invoice into the systems and the system calculates it automatically so back in the day yes you had to force balance things up you know but now there's 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 softwares for that so we don't really need to be like good with numbers yes we do need a, a certain degree of knowing maths but it's the same as anyone else i believe i believe that it's the same as anyone else um so i i this this one is not entirely true this myth is not entirely true about us that we're good at maths uh it's partially true <laughs> partially true so yeah guys that's myth number one myth number two is that we're boring can you look at me look at me do i seem boring to you <laughs> do i seem boring to you guys i get this a lot like because for some reason accountants are, are portrayed a similar way so now it's like yo you're boring like really me boring do you guys know accountants guys i wish i could put a picture but because i have to act in professional gk and i try to not share a lot <laughs> about my other endeavors 
other things uh, but basically what i'll tell you is we are not boring <laughs> we are not boring we do the things that the things that you guys do but most of the time we don't post it um and reason being is because we have a professional face that we need to keep and that i'll be i'll be honest with you like we have a professional face that we need to keep because we are governed with a lot of professional things that we need to comply with uh, especially if you're registered with Saika, that's just a lot so um you decide to not really share that part of you like maybe you would share you drinking a wine or something but the dancing the voshos the voshos you don't share, <laughs> you don't share the voshos that you do when you are on another level <laughs> so guys trust me it's not true hi guys we am boring. We are lit. It's just that we do it undercover. <laughs> Three is that accountants are introverted. So, guys, this one is partially true, uh, not entirely true. But I feel like being an accountant has nothing to do with whether you're an introvert or an extrovert because it depends on the type of job you are in. So, for example, you can be an accountant in a firm where you are busy with the financial statement of one company one company let's say you are an accountant at vodacom this is an example you'll be an accountant there at vodacom or you can work for or a bookkeeping firm where you are doing accounting uh, accounting books for so many people so you need to interact with your client understand network um look for 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 clients for your firm if maybe you're in in a managerial position so it it's not true that you introvert like it's only for introverted people because extroverts can also get, go there and extroverts are normally good in the marketing side where they need to network with people where they need to speak and make um and make clients so guys um this is not entirely true yes there is introverts and there's also extroverts in the field so yeah it's not true Number four is that we are always sitting on a small cubicle. You know those movies, those old movies. We're sitting there all the time in our laptop and we're typing numbers all, all, all the time. And that's not true, guys. Um, yes, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, our our jobs, right, uh, require us to have a laptop, um, sit in the desk and do like financial statements. You know you work in offices and stuff but not all the time you're gonna do that as i said in my previous thing you may need to go and network with clients um you may need to go to the client's uh place so you're not necessarily in one position sometimes so you may need to go to the client's um offices where, where you might not sit in a small desk you, you may even get a board from there so it's not entirely true but it's not false guys yes to a certain degree we do sit there um and do our, our jobs in this desk all the time but sometimes we go to clients as well and sometimes we do networking so it's not entirely true this one a fact is that we are wealthy because we work with numbers <laughs> Because we work with numbers, people assume that we are wealthy. Um, honestly, if you want to get rich fast, um, I don't know if accounting is for you. Like, guys, it takes seven years to become a child accountant, minimum. So even then, you might not be wealthy. You might get, like, I don't even know what, what's the market-related salary. You can Google it, but it's not really wealthy. Yes, you may be a bit comfortable, but... It's not wealth so i'm not saying that you can't be wealthy with accounting but not everyone is wealthy i think you can be like minimum like you can you can afford yourself um but as time goes on maybe you can be able to create wealth but most of the time they create it through other income uh things like having rental income having other types of incomes i think because people are accountants right i think accountants are just fortunate that they understand finance and they understand like income minus expense like those budgeting stuff so they sometimes end up uh 
they are kind of in a privilege in how to handle their finances so it seems like they have money but honestly there are other jobs and there are other careers that you can do to have money and trust me when you finish qualifying you are getting more 60 50k i'm telling you so if you are going to accounting for the money it takes so many years for you to get like a decent amount i've seen a lot of places where the accounting the finance side is actually paid lesser than the other sides like the software developers the it all those nice things doctors sometimes get more there are other professions guys that you can get a lot of money for so i don't think for if you want to be rich accounting is for you but maybe you can use what you learn in accounting right um to help yourself like manage your finances and get into the investment side etc etc but i don't think like it's not a get rich quick scheme it takes a bit of years for you to be in a position where now you feel good yeah yeah i have money so guys we don't have money you understand <laughs> Yeah, I understand. I'm joking. Okay, we we okay. Like, accountants are okay. It's a good. It's an okay field, uh, because there's no maximum cap of how much you can earn, but also you can earn a little. So, guys, if you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, it's not it. It's not it. And you work hours day. So, now, nah, guys. So those are the five myths um that i have i hope that um this video i just did this video for fun guys not for you to learn anything and for people who don't actually know what accountants are like and they're worried that you i'm an extrovert will i fit in um you may be able to fit in um it depends on what you want and if you're looking for accounting for a get a rich quick skin i wouldn't advise it for that because um i'm not gonna say that yeah it's not a get rich quick skin Yes, you'll be comfortable once you qualify, but it's not a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much, my darlings, for watching. I really, really, really appreciate you. Goodbye.